you start to fully see who someone is when you start to say no to them everyone's your friend when you're saying yes everyone likes you when you're saying yes but how many people still want to be around you when you create boundaries when you set standards for yourself but listen you're going to avoid a lot of crappy people when you have boundaries and standards for your life hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well so this is day six of the revenge series and back to basics so i want to talk about in today's video setting boundaries and respecting yourself enough to walk away if necessary now nobody likes to be taken advantage of no one likes to feel that they've been taken for a mug or they've been taken for an idiot okay but being taken advantage of goes both ways there's a person taking advantage and as a person being taken advantage of and in no way shape or form do i ever 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 blame the person who is the victim of being taken advantage of but let's imagine this you live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of crime they have a lot of burglaries and everybody knows this you live in an area that have high burglaries okay what are you going to do are you going to sit around and wait for the police to get hold of those criminals or are you going to lock up your doors lock up your house and protect yourself this is the same with setting boundaries for yourself we cannot control what others do to us but we can control how far they can get to us to do the things that they are trying to do so what boundaries do is it keeps people from trespassing you boundaries standards keep people out it guides them with what lines they can and can't cross and some people don't actually realize that you can be nice and also say no like no is a complete sentence and i'm not sure about you guys but this is one thing that i definitely notice about myself is that i would sometimes laugh off disrespect i feel like i was more tolerant when it came to guys than actual girl in general instead of actually addressing something or someone and saying actually i don't like you saying that don't say that to me don't talk to me like that i actually just laughed it off and it became apparent to me that i don't know what it is but certain guys are just intimidated by me so they may say things that will just maybe cut me down the peg like really relax you're not a celebrity and i'll literally just be standing there like not doing anything but they feel a need to humble me and to make me chill out because they feel uncomfortable with my presence and so sometimes i was laughing off but i'm starting to say actually don't talk to me like that who do you think you're talking to like it's not funny i'm not gonna laugh it off you're not gonna have a joke at my expense no 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 no, no. because most people that make those backhanded jokes they do it because they can get away with it no one's actually confronted them so you if you're feeling uncomfortable or someone's making you feel uncomfortable stand up for yourself saying no is a complete sentence and you don't even have to have a reason if i said no i don't like that i don't need to justify why i don't like that oh it's just a joke i don't care i don't have to accept your jokes you can keep your jokes to yourself but a lot of us are people pleasers and we have a hard time saying no because we don't want people to leave us we don't want people to feel like we're bad people like we're so obsessed with being liked and not respected okay you're gonna respect me and people are gonna respect you when you put your foot down when you draw a line when you say no i'm not going to accept that no you're not going to do this to me that's how you get respect and i was thinking about this when i was in my relationship and it was the idea the concept of being a good girlfriend or being a good wife or being a good partner that you almost get into a performative state where you're like trying to do everything right not disrupt the person go to their house clean cook and just be the good girlfriend and not just disappoint them and not say no to them and not say actually i can't meet up you today like we kind of get into the zone of us feeling like oh i've got to be this person and i checked myself and i said actually start saying no and see how this person reacts because you really start to see a full picture and you start to fully see who someone is when you start to say no to them everyone's your friend when you're saying yes everyone likes you when you're saying yes but how many people still want to be around you when you create boundaries when you set standards for yourself and it's important for those of you who want to go into relationships or who are going into to relationships to set the standards from the jump because i can guarantee you once the disrespect has set in it's going to be very very difficult for you to raise a standard or set a new boundary it's going to make you uncomfortable and it's going to make the other person uncomfortable because they're so used to getting away with the things that they used to get away with 
when you didn't have any standards. So it's very important that when you're meeting someone that you set a standard from the jump. That's on treatment. That's on what you expect. You have to create the standard from the beginning. And if you set a standard and the person can't meet your requirements, your standards, you need to also be willing to walk away. You need to be willing to be like, okay. And also be willing to walk away when your standards and your boundaries are violated time and time again. The only language that some people actually respect is being left. Don't underestimate how much of a statement you leaving, you washing your hands of the situation can have on the other person. Men will only stop taking the myth out of you, cheating repetitively when you actually walk away. Not when you threaten to walk away, but when you actually walk away. And we have to, ladies, be obsessed with getting respect respect is missing in our generation it is very much missing in our generation people don't respect other people because we don't have any boundary we don't tell people to respect us we don't command respect and we don't expect respect and if you set your standards low you're going to get low effort from people and contrary to what you actually believe people respect people more who have standards who have boundaries someone that stands for something has beliefs has morals has values believe it or not men love when clear lines are drawn yes they'll try to push it but the more you enforce that line they have to respect it on the flip side people with no standards no boundaries may make it easier to be let in but someone that had to wait to get in pay to get in, work to get in, is going to behave better than someone that was just allowed to freely walk in. We've all been to clubs where there's no policy. Anyone is welcome because the people just want money. They just want to get paid. So they'll welcome any dick, Tom and Harry off the street. There's no standards. But you go to clubs up in the city, you go to clubs up in Mayfair, they have a strict policy. No hats, no trainers, no whatever. You have to come proper. And when people come proper, they, there's a different level. There's a level, there's a different level you respect the place more that you it was harder for you to get in that had standards that had boundaries that had policies before you could get in standards create care the person that had to work to get in pay to get in is going to behave better when they get in as they get into your heart get into a relationship with you than someone that it was so easy to get in people take advantage people push their boundaries all the time People are constantly testing your boundaries. That's why it's important to have standards, have boundaries, set them and keep them set. Yes, it may make you lonely. Yes, you may not have that many options, but listen, you're gonna avoid a lot of crappy people when you have boundaries and standards for your life. Everyone can't be my friend. Everyone can't come to my inner circle. Everyone cannot come inside my house. And as much as standards may make you lonely, they will always protect you. And you've got to guard yourself, guard your life, guard your heart like the people outside guard the Buckingham Palace and you have to really be willing to choose standards over a relationship and standards is what makes you feel safe I can't tell you what a standard of yours should be but you know what keeps you safe and you know what makes you feel unsafe so if you're someone that doesn't have many standards I want you just to increase your standards just a little bit just do a little bit up it may feel uncomfortable to you but just raise your standard just a little bit a little bit more more than what you're accepting right now and it will make a world of difference for you this is just a short video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you comment below let me know what you guys think are you going to start setting boundaries do you have a hard time saying no to people why is that so make sure you guys comment below and let's get engaged in this conversation and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my next video bye guys